Boy, not bad weather out there this weekend if you're hoping to get out for a run in the sun, huh? Anything. Anything, Basically yeah. Anything. yeah. Um, <laughs> Beach weather even, right? Yeah, oh, wow. yeah, yeah, I think so. I was thinking about that myself. I think I think so. I mean, are you going to want to go in the water? Uh, but that's, we talked about that. That's like most of the summer for me at 60 least. 60 degrees, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> There's some hardos out there I see out there in October. Oh, yeah. go fishing they, they're still swimming it's always one yeah this is <laughs> increasing amounts well it, there's like i think it's because people have heard it's, it can be good for your um your health to be in cold yeah, water so they're out there fun. it's like yeah, a reason yeah, to like do it balance. but um don't forget today was a day where we we're supposed to have you know a little bit more cloud cover and a chance for a shower compared to the days before it and what's coming after it and we had a couple of showers around the mid coast early this morning you'll see them drifting through but a lot of us stayed dry. Now we have just a couple of showers into um, Arista County, and those are dwindling rapidly. So if you didn't catch one of these, you're unlikely to do so this afternoon. Ended up at 80 in Portland, 80 in Bangor, 83 in Freiburg, 85 in Concord, New Hampshire. We'll see more of this next week, even into Maine. I think we'll see quite a few mid 80s popping up. Tonight, we're in the uh, 60s and upper 50s. It's not as crisp. So going forward here, we're not going to have those 30s and 40s overnights that we had earlier in the week. We're going to stay more in the 50s to around 60 degrees. Daytime highs tomorrow in the mid and upper 70s. Partly cloudy is what we'll call it. This model insists there's going to be a scattered shower in the mountains, uh, Oxford County specifically tomorrow afternoon. So that is a possibility, but I think almost everybody stays dry through the day tomorrow and then into the second half of the weekend with a lot of sun around for Sunday. Temperatures there in the upper 70s to around 80. Second half of the day on Sunday looks a little sunnier than the first half, but these are good problems to have, right? Try to <laughs> hone down to where you're going to see some cloud cover. High pressure in place over the weekend. That high slides just a little bit here to the east. Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday, and that gives us our run up southwest flow to get into the mid 80s on those days. And then our next chance of rain comes on Thursday. This high is trying to hold this subtropical lows trying to move into the high and it's it's a toss up whether or not these showers get in here on Thursday. If they stay to our south, another high builds in for next weekend. So if we don't catch that shower on Thursday, it's going to be a really long stretch of weather. Oh, I had a cool graphic I wanted to show you. Hold on. A really long stretch of weather. I thought I had it in there and I didn't. Um, I wanted to put this in perspective as to what this September has been like so far. Um, and this is and this is Helen, our producer who worked in the mornings and I said, I'm not like Todd. I do the uh, time cues on time. And then here we are trying to do this. Okay. Dry September. There we go. All right. I just wanted to put this perspective for you guys, which is to start the month, we are fourth driest, but if you look at that, there's some donuts in there. So, so no rain in 1948, but I'm eyeing that record at 0.3 inches for the whole month in 1948. I'm telling you, it's possible um, based on what I see going forward here with just that shower chance on Thursday and then wow. another stretch of dry weather. Um, and also, if, if my forecast is right, meaning if we get to Wednesday of next week without any more rain, it will be the driest start to September on record. Wow. So. There we go. Yeah, um, you can't say you aren't dedicated to the viewers. You really got your steps in there. Yeah, <laughs> I was just like, this is a cool stat, and I made it, and then I'm going to not, not put it in there. Um, so, yeah, we just keep cruising into next week. Looks good. All right. Thanks, Keith. Yeah.